And joining us now with the latest on the potential for war with Iran, please welcome Likud M.K. Yoav Kish, Chairman of the Interior Committee. Hi, hello. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. All right, so we will just jump right in. Um, how likely do you think it is that the Iranian Hezbollah threats will turn to uh, reality? And if so, when can we expect that? Listen, we were on the edge of an active, aggressive uh, Iranian uh, um, mission against Israel, and Israel stopped it. And that was announced by Israel, and everybody saw it by uh, bombing the uh, Iran uh, villa that had few uh, drones that were already in purpose to target Israel, uh, I think, a few days ago. So we are on in the middle of a scenario when the Iran is trying to aggressively uh, hurt Israel. It's not only building the Iran power in Syria and uh, Lebanon, which they did with Hezbollah, and now in Syria and Iraq. Now they're actually trying to hurt Israel. And that's why we stopped them and we announced and let people know that Israel did it because they were targeting to hurt our, our civilians. So we are on the edge of a, a scenario like this. I do think that uh, Israel army and defense forces, and together with the strategy that Benjamin Netanyahu is leading us, is putting us in a point that we could face this threat, stop it, and succeed in avoiding it. Okay, so coming back off of that same sentiment, if we're so close to war or already in a war, as you've suggested, why is it that Israel has yet to send reinforcements to the north? We know that they've sent a few troops uh, towards the north, but not really at the border. Listen, what that have changed is that uh, we're not, not talking about Iranian forces in Syria. Now we're also talking about Hezbollah in Lebanon. Right. And Hezbollah in Lebanon uh, are claiming that uh, Israel attacked them. Uh, Israel did not officially recognize that, but uh, they are claiming that. And they, are, uh, they said that they want to hurt Israel. And they didn't say, of course, what. So in the case that they will try to uh, uh, be aggressive against Israel, Israel has to be ready. And that's the reasoning for enforcement in the north border. Right, but, but then why haven't they gone all the way to the border? Because we haven't yet seen those reinforcements. We are in a, you know, it's kind of a, I don't know, like a tango dance. You know, they're mm -hmm. making a step, we're making a step. It, no, none of the sides, by the way, not us, and I don't think that Hezbollah and the Lebanese government want, want to start a war. Nobody has it on his agenda. And if Hezbollah will cool down, stop its aggressiveness, uh, uh, threats, and so on, things will cool down. But if Hezbollah will do some aggressive action, then Israel needs to be prepared. And then Israel is going to react, react against Hezbollah, against Lebanon. Sure. So we are kind of uh, measuring until where and when should we move forward, and the same with their threats and discussions. So what exactly can Israel be doing uh, to protect against this, this northern threat? We're not planning an aggressive uh, move now against Hezbollah. But Israel is now making the needed preparations in case we'll have to do so. And we don't want to be starting the whole thing from scratch in that sense. We understand that there's a higher risk right now. We, we're not dealing right now with, uh, let's say, cross-the-border activities, but we're dealing with preparations within Israel. Is that maybe your same reaction to why Benny Gantz was just briefed uh, on, on the situation? Is that, do you feel like that situation might be necessary, that he, his briefing? Well, I think that to those of you who doesn't know Israeli politics that well, usually the head of the opposition is being briefed and he's, you know, he's part of the global, let's say, the, 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 the local atmosphere knowing the threats and what, what's the agenda, even though he's not in the coalition. Right now, since we ran to election so fast, he's not in his official position of head of opposition, but we do regard him as that, as the leader of the largest party in the, in the Knesset. So, yes, this is a... Since we're in a time that things can heat up very fast, by the way, both on Gaza and in the north, sure. I think it's important that he's briefed and he would, you know, it's good for the unity and support of the whole country that he will be in the picture, right, as they to say. To be aware. Yeah. yeah. Cassandra, right. thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much.